This is the core box bit. It has a half inch shank and a 5 8 inch arbor, which is great because I can take this and put it in this old drill here and uh, just, just, um, um, easily put it into the drill. And I have a five and a half inch saw blade. This is gonna be brilliant. Saw blade on it, crank down this arbor nut that I got from my angle grinder. And uh, we just turned a, an old drill into something that could potentially cut the head off of a zombie. I wanna make sure this thing works. And if it does, turn it into a table saw. Some wobble, a lot of wobble, a lot, lot, lot of wobble. Well, it, it, it works. And why are you so apprehensive? So here's the plan. I need to make this into a table saw. I'm not quite sure how to do that. I'm thinking I'm gonna need some sort of mechanism to hold this in place. Not too bad, though it does look a little bit scary seeing that blade on there. So this is just a piece of plywood and I glued and screwed the bracket down onto this so it doesn't go anywhere. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna have to do a side that goes around the drill. I want this on the outside of the, of the table saw so I have access to it. And then the rest of them should be fairly easy. I need to cut out a section here for the drill base to fit into. Sketchy factor is definitely elevated. I'm excited about that. Okay, so the great thing about having that hinge on there is now I can lift this up, clean out all that dust or whatever, but I could also put my blade on there, turn on my drill, lower this down, it cuts through here, and now I have a zero clearance insert. That's me being a little bit proud of myself on that one. That totally worked. It worked really well too. I can't really complain as far as the cut quality goes. I'm like looking at both sides of these and I mean, you can see some saw marks cause you know, it's a $10 blade, but now that that all works, we can get started. That is really rough. Uh... What the? That's, uh, but it's at 90. Uh, what the, what? This is gonna be harder than I thought. Look at that.
that's pretty good. That's okay. Kind of proud of myself. That's pretty good. I mean, look, look at this and it works. I mean, I'm not going to win any awards, but that's pretty good. All right. As far as the miters go, uh, I, I think I'm going to have to make a jig that puts my pieces at an angle because I can't take the blade and tilt it at 45 degrees like I could a regular table saw. But maybe I can like cut. Mm, maybe I. I'll figure it out. My jig's a little bit off. We could save it. We could save it, I think. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add some tape here. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's very, very early. And I was up very, very late trying to get these miters to work. I eventually got there, but I have a deadline and this has got to get done. I'm not really sure what went wrong and why that was so difficult. Some wobble, a lot of wobble, a lot, lot, lot of wobble. I don't even know what I got to do next. The bottom, I think the bottom. Coffee's done. Typically, whenever I'm making a box, I'll cut a channel the inside faces of the box sides. That way I can just put the box bottom in the place. And I do that over at the table saw or the router table, but usually the table saw. Well, my table saw here is not adjustable. I can't just like lower the blade down. So I have to raise the actual surface of the table saw itself. I found a piece of scrap wood. This is just like a, a piece of plywood. If I screw this down onto my table and then I run my box sides across, the blade is just poking out. So I should be able to just run the box sides over that, cut a channel in them, the bottom will fit into place. Well, I'm a little bit surprised, but it actually did work out. It's kind of crazy. So now I can glue this whole thing together. While the glue is drying, I can kind of think about what am I supposed to do next? I want the lid to fit down inside the box, but how I would normally do that? Can't really work out, so I have to come up with a totally different way. I got some maple that I can cut to size and then install that inside the box. I'm gonna make sure it's a little bit shorter though than the rest of my box sides. That way when it sits down lower, it automatically makes that rabbit for me. This is looking so good. I can't believe that this is how it's turning out. So now uh, we need a lid. I was thinking about doing something kind of elaborate for a lid and then having more of a minimalist handle to it. I think I wanna go the opposite though. Let's do a plain lid nothing too fancy, and then make the handle give it that visual interest. But everything starts with the lid. So I'm gonna look for a piece of maple, hopefully one that has a little bit of figure or something that coordinates really well with that liner. Basically just cut it into a rectangle until it fits in the box. I spent a ton of time working on handles. Actually, I made quite a few different handles in different stages of completion. And ultimately, whenever I looked at all of them, I didn't really like any of them better than just having the plain lid. I don't know, there was just something about seeing that figured maple that I didn't want to cover up with the handle. I decided to postpone the handle, go ahead and sand the entire box and then sleep on it, come back the next day and then determine, do I really want a handle or not? And ultimately, no, I still 
I haven't changed my mind. I just, that maple looks so good. I don't want to cover it up. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply finish to this thing, which I'm gonna keep really easy. I'm gonna go with a hard wax finish, which I'm a big fan of. Scrub it all into the surface of this, wipe off the extra, apply more coats as needed, and it's gonna give the box that close to the wood feel that just looks like it's high end or more luxury compared to what it really is, which is a box made with just a drill. Thank you.